How's it going everyone? Back with another stream today. We're going to be playing Logan Nettles, otherwise known as Jabberwocky. Um, I guess they did well over this past weekend. Um, the 75, I guess, got 16th place, I think, in the PTQ and the Challenge, if I recall correctly. I, they the, the list did well and got literally the exact same place, I think, back to back, which is kind of funny. Um, but I streamed Jabberwocky's list, um, a couple weeks ago and it, I like the list. I think the list performed well for me. Uh, I just don't, I just missed Liliana the Veil. Like, I feel like this list has merit. I just missed, like, again, like Liliana is just so good. I just, I, I can't not have it if I were to play rock, right? Uh, that being said, having an eighth card in this sideboard is very, very, very powerful. And this list is very, very low to the ground. Like, it's literally 16 one drops, 16 two drops, and then one on one of pulse. Like, this list is so, like, down in the trenches. Like, we're going to be as efficient as possible and recur all these threats with Lyris. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's it's very legacy-esque. Um, so to kind of go give over... To go over the deck, we have 23 lands, play sets of a lot of things. <laughs> play set of Field of Ruins, play, play set of Blooming Marshes, play set of Basic Swamp, play set of uh, Verdant Catacombs, two of Treetop Villages, two Chop Overgrown Tomb, two of Dark Boar Pathways, which is a split between the black and green, um, and then they have a one of Forest. Um, from there, since we have Luris as a companion, we have the four of Mishra's Bobble, and then again, it just, go, it just goes back to playsets. We have a playset of Puff Push, playset of Inquisitions, Thought Seas, Hex Drinkers, uh, playset of Dark Confidants, Tarm Goyfs. And then it kind of gets rounded out by three Abrupt Decays, one Trophy, which I like. I, I just like to decay more than Trophy right now. Um, three Scoos, which seems fantastic. I think Logan had a one of Spell Bomb over the third Scoos. I think that's what the change was. And he had a 2 2 split. But they were like this three run split and the third Scoos. And then we have a couple run one of the rounded off, which is a one of Knight's Whisper main to kind of gain card advantage and a most impulse. Uh, and then the sideboard kind of changed a lot. Um, I don't remember what it was in previously, but one of trophy, one of brutality, uh, two explosives, which is really good with Flurus. Heartless Act, which is really, really cool. Um, I don't know what the inkling behind this is, but we're gonna try it out. We're gonna find out. Of course, the companion, a second pulse in the main. Two more Knights Whisper, which is really spicy. This is like the Jabberwocky special, is what I'm going to call it. Uh, three Spell Bombs. Two Rain of Tears, because we can't run a Fulminator anymore because of Luris. So we're going to have this instead for Tron and Amulet. And last but not least, we have Surgical as to round out our Graveyard Hate. And it seems pretty good, because against Tron, we can go Field of Ruin, take out a Tron land, and then Surgical it. So with four Field of Ruins, two Rain of Tears, if we... Get lucky and draw that one of surgical. It seems like we do that plan against Tron, but just also generally good against other graveyard uh, base decks, right? It's lean, efficient. See how it goes. Hopefully, you do well. I can't seem to beat Niv. I think I might have to jump on the train again to jump on the Niv train. Niv is pretty good. They're just, I think the hardest part of that deck is really just sequencing your lands, right? But I don't blame you for wanting to try it because it's just literally a pile of good cards. It's like it's like a zoomer gen where you're just literally playing the best cards in certain colors. And now that you have triumphs and stuff, you can get away with playing four colors, right? Or even five colors. So, but yeah, let's see how this goes. Um, kind of excited to bust out this version of Rock again. That and you got Omnath to hold it all together, exactly, Max to me, is, like, you, you just have a lot of stuff that, like, you have, like, early interaction with, like, Lightning Helix and stuff, and Teferi, like, you just, you have a lot of game against everything, and you could just lose to yourself more often than not. I feel like I'll watch other people stream the deck, and, um, they'll, like, sequence their lands incorrectly, in a sense that I don't blame them because, like, you look at what's in your hand, you want to sequence it, but then you're not really expecting what to draw, which you can't, right? And then you don't properly sequence those lands. It's very difficult. It's it's incorrect in a way where it's, like, I've, it's not their fault. It's just incorrect based on how you drew, right? <laughs> How's it going, John? Long time no see. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I have to obviously mull on this. I have no colored sources. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Sounds nice. 
It's a deck that in TD mode they can draw a new or we don't and game is over. Exactly. Exactly. Um I kind of want to just bond the Knights Whisper. What song? That song's pretty good. Or I could just bond my land. It's between either a land or the Knights Whisper. I could see, honestly, cutting the discard spell. But it's like our opponent will into five, so I kind of want to like rip their hand apart, especially on the draw. I think we just bond the Knights Whisper. And just like go double the discard spell, protect our Bob. It is. You don't want to be like full on the LD plan either, right? So it's like awkward. Okay, they're on Tron. Uh, I guess I'll play the Dark Boar Pathway and in Inquisition. So they're on Tron. Okay. Hopefully they don't just naturally draw mine. I want to slam uh, Bob here. Okay. I mean, do I just want to auto lose to Tron? I kind of want to just like Bob here. And if they like turn three cards, they current three corners, right? Because like our option is just Thought Season do nothing. And then we slam Bob. But like, look at this play where we go turn two Bob. They don't cast Karn. We can feel the ruin and then Thought Season the Karn away and have a clock. Like, the safe play is obviously just Thought Seize, but then we're just not doing anything. Because the next turn, we have to feel the Ruin, and then, like, we don't uh, have a threat, right? I kind of like just being super greedy here. I I'm going to be greedy, and if I get punished, I get punished. How's it going to be finally abandoned in a back color? Uh, no comment. <laughs> I like Stoneforge Mystic, though. You got to show so Stoneforge Mystic some respect. No, hers is mine. One time. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Never respect it. Never respect it. All right, Bobby. Robert. Anthony. Confidante. Let's go. I guess we just bobble. Bobble our... I guess we field first. So let's attack. Let's attack first, foremost. We're going to field and then bobble. That's how we should sequence things. Yeah. They're going to be able to map, though. They whiffed on their third land drop, so I guess we should... I don't want to field here because they can just activate their map. This is like the one situation where I don't want to field here. So I think I actually ball with them now and see if they're going to draw a land, and if they don't, then I don't have to field. Because they're uh, their last, they're because they didn't play land, so they're like they're presumably the last cards either are scrying or whatever, right? So let's bobble them here. They draw an Ugin, so I think this is actually a situation where I don't field here, and then maybe I field on their draw step because I could just thought seize this Ugin away. How's it going, poisonly? Yeah, we're just going to do this. And in case... Yeah, because they didn't play the third land. So it's Karn Ugin Unknown. I guess it's safer just to feel their own end of turn in case they have, like, a star. But I feel like the last card is just a payoff here. So let's just do this. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Reading the situation. Okay. 
I should have cracked this. Now they can play Oblivion Stone. I got lucky. I just clicked through on accident. I didn't mean to click through. Better lucky. Poison Lee, hope you're doing well, by the way. Just gonna fetch this. So you have Karn, Ugin, Unknown. Presumably they just have nothing. Tarmoglyph is a great draw because it's just like another clock, also, as is Field of Ruin. So we can Field of Ruin double Thoughtseize. Or we can just Field of Ruin and play Tarmogoyf. I think I like Field of Ruin and play Tarmogoyf. Hope they don't draw Oblivion Stone. Even though they have to draw their land. They tutored for Urza's Mine. Get basic swamp. Since I do this, yeah, I just like casting Tarmogoyf. Let's just end the game, right? And if they had Oblivion Stone, they would just cast it at last turn. They drew the tower. That's shitty. Bobble. Let's thought season first before we decide what to do with our bobbles. They have double Karn. I'm going to take this Ewing because it's cheaper. Let's see what they're going to draw here. Ooh, other Karn. So I guess here we attack with both creatures, play other Bob. And they can Karn, but then we thought sees whatever they Karn. If they Karn plus, I don't care either. Yep, 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 yep. That bridge is uh, gonna get thought seized. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Eat a dick, Mike. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, if I do push the bob, it is lethal. <laughs> well, you don't have to owe me anything, Control Freak. What are you talking about? How is pushing the bob lethal? Oh, like push the bob in hand. You're right. You're right. You're right. Because there's no instance or creatures. You're 100% right. I honestly would not have seen that. Land, creature, artifact, plane joker. Yeah, that's actually really heads up. Cool. <laughs> Good job, Bench Summer. <laughs> How's it going, Smear Beedo? <laughs> How's it going, Razzley? Yeah, all the people are just tuning in. Tuning in just in time to see the Tron menace get fucked. <laughs> Thought she's my verdant, the real five head play. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, so the rare tier seems good here. Surgical seems good. Trophy and pulse. Fuck! Fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, pushes are obvious. Scoozes come out. Are we too creature light here? We have 12 creatures, 4 extra ingers, 4 tormogoy, 4 bobs. <sighs> Don't you guys have uh, something better to do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's people just want to watch Tron get fucked, right? That's that's good content. That's the best content on in in, in all of Magic is watching Tron get fucked. I kind of want. I know Scooz is bad, but I kind of want a copy or two just so we have a threat, right? Just something to kind of get us over the finish line. 
I kind of want to go like two Night's Whisper and then like a Scooz, or maybe like just leave two Scooz in. Like I think I want fourteen creatures. Like I think f going under fourteen is just like we need a threat, right? And it's like Dark Confidant is just like kind of anemic. Hexagon can get there, but we have to single that man into it. Yeah. <laughs> Sphere of Veto. That's 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 a good way to spend your time. Just watch people cast Thoughtseize and Inquisition. Like I I know Control Freak and I like give each other shit, but like I mean look at look at the sub badge right next to Control Freak. It's literally Thoughtseize. <laughs> You've come to the right place. <laughs> you don't watch people get Thoughtseized here. <laughs> time for me to start streaming. That's easy. You know it's. It's you gotta cast thoughtsies and show them a nipple. That's what you need to do. That's 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 the key to streaming success. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this is fine. It's just enough of me jibber jabbering while the cyber timer keeps going off. I can't believe how much you've upgraded the stream. I hate it. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? You know you like it, John. Come on, buddy. You gotta show me some love. Oh, this hand's kind of shitty on the draw. On the play, there's like a snap keep because you can Inquisition something on the play and then like decay a map. Like this hand's only good if they kept like a Sylvan Scrying hand and then we can Inquisition it. I think we're still going to keep though and hope they have a Scrying hand. They kept seven, but... So they have an Expedition map hand. That's pretty awful. Well, at least we can bubble trick ourselves. Hopefully we can hit something... Turbo God is. I don't think I want the Turbo God. Because I want to. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, they have Tron. So take the stirrings. So this is where I kind of like miss stuff like Kalidus. Assassin's Trophy. Um. That I can like cleanly answer the worm coil. This is also where I miss Path to Exile for you Abzan folks out there. <laughs> Jabba Rock now? I mean, that's that's what I named the deck title right here is Jabba Rocky. <laughs> that's literally what I have the deck title as, as in my, uh, in my, uh, moto collection. You see just splash white? Yeah, you know, if only, if only there was someone out there that splashed white for Path to Exile. If only there's someone out there that did that. Just, you know, just one time, right? If only. Uh, this surgical is, like, not a good draw at all. But I think we're just gonna double threat here. I don't think we can, like, block or anything, but... If we can draw, like, the... I don't need like even like we need like a Lilian or a Milson plus to like cleanly answer these one coils, but like this look is looking pretty bleak. Like in like blink green black, like there's no way to answer a one coil cleanly. It's kind of just awful. They also have just a shit ton of mana. <laughs> My dog is dying as I'm I against this Tron opponent. This gets a lot better on the play too. Like this, oh, this needs to be in combination with it. God, golly. We need like backup Melson Pulse and the Melson Pulse. I think it's just safe to concede here. Like we have two decays. I don't think we can be double one coil. No. Dog is like going through the trash. I mean, we knew that hand was bad against a map hand, and it's like we need literally like Assassin's Trophy to like deal with a map hand. So it's like it's fine. Like there's, I don't. We need like a literally like a perfect card, like perfect hand to beat that. And I think the hand that I kept was acceptable.
So free rain, yeah, I explained that like I think the deck needs more threats. Like if I cut all the scoozes, I agree scooz is bad here, but I feel like I need like one or two copies. Oh man. Mask Vandal deck? <laughs> the hell did that card do? Exile, creature can reach exile. I need creature from my graveyard. Opponent kept seven. I think I should just bottom a goyf, right? Yeah, I think we just bottom a goyf. We don't have time for it. Yeah. But I agree with you, Freemania. Like, it is only a scooze, but like, or it is only a bear, but like, if if you cut all the scoozes, it's only Hex Drinker, uh, Tarmogoyce, and Dark Confidants, and I feel like that's just not enough threats. I think maybe I could have cut one more scooze for a night, but I like agree with you to a certain extent. Let me make sure I'm like sequencing this, sequencing this correctly. So next we can feel the ruin into Thoughtseize, and then we Reign of Tears on the following turn. This is like a pretty... We're kind of set up nicely here. Okay. Stirrings. Power Plant. Okay. Okay. Do I want to play around Veil of Summer? I feel like they... Because hmm. I can like feel the Ruin Thoughtseize, right? But I guess I kind of want my Thoughtseize to get Veil of Summer because then I want to Rain of Rain Tears next turn. So I think that's fine. They play the Mine before the Power Plant. I still think I hit the Tower though. Hmm. Fuck. If they have Vela somewhere here, then we get it completely blown out. So they tap tower for mana if they search for tower and play at three mana. I missed you, anybody. You just started taking it. No worries, Manistable. Don't worry about it. Thanks for keeping me in your thoughts, though. I think we just take the O stone here, but then we can't keep them off four mana, right? It's like impossible. Us losing our Tomogorf there is just so bad. I think we just take the O stone. I guess we could pull so some, but like if we take the Karn, it's like. What does that accomplish? They have another one. We could take Worm Coil and then tro and pulse this. But then we're like forced to pulse it. But then we could also keep them off five lands with this Rain of Tears. So we need to draw a threat. So if we draw a threat, let's just say we do draw a threat, right? They if we don't take the Ozone, you just play the Ozone. We have to stone rain them. They play another land. So the back up to three. And then we just need to draw a threat. Hope they don't have Karn. I think we just play, take the Oblivion Stone. Hope they just never assemble Tron. I think that's our plan here. Taking Karn does nothing. Like they have a backup Karn. Like the, the taking the Karn literally does nothing. It's kind of a luck here. Don't be able to slumber me. 
We we literally need to draw. They fuck me. This is why you don't listen to the Twitch chat. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I do have Luris. I'm not. That's for sure. But okay. Okay, I see you, Deck. I see you. I see you, Deck. I see you, Deck. Come here, my pretty. No land. Damn it. Oh, fuck. They drew the other mine? Are you kidding me? Christ. Snaring bridge. I don't do I so do I want to trophy the land here? I think the answer is no. I think I just pulse the card when I untap, attack, they go to six, and then they have to play the bridge and I just trophy it. So I think I just let this go. That's a good draw too. One Sure. Yeah, so the planeswalker's lost. So if they have exactly Veil of Summer, we get fucked. So that Veil of Summer were fucked anyway. I guess we just pulse this attack, play Hex Drinker. They could if they if they have to play the bridge, they have to play the bridge. But I'm just scared of Veil of Summer, like I said. They could also they could also um assemble Tron. But I think if they assemble Tron, we just have to live with it. I think we just have to dodge Urza's tower one time, right? The other thing is I could also just attack Karn here, kill it, trophy the mine, play Hex Drinker. So then I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're one short. We're one short from like playing Hex Drinker, like tro pulsing the Karn or attacking the Karn down, pulsing the bridge, and then like attacking. Let's see, I could also Lurus bring back Goif. I think that's actually the better play here. Yeah, I think I like going Lurus, bring back Goif, because then if they naturally draw. Tron play worm coil we can attack and then go wide and then they no but then even if they even if they draw a card we can't go wide here because if we try like trophying it they just block the goal if they only we only deal eight I think I like attacking Karn down and then just going the Rescoif. I think I think that's the line I'm gonna go off. Krikor, yeah, that's a line I'm gonna that's the line I think I'm taking. Exactly. So let's let's take that line. That line is taken. Don't draw tower. Okay. They are not even representing Veil of Summer. 
Okay. Okay. I mentioned last stream that 99% of my interaction on Magic Online is, like, really good. I f forget what the username was. I think it was, like, Magic Dan or MPG Dan or something. Like, oh, are they streaming or sniping? No way. I don't see their username here. Do you have a screenshot of it, Freed Media? <laughs> but, like, I was gonna say, like, 99% of the interactions I have on Moto is, like, really good. Like, I was playing against, like, Magic Dan, I believe the gentleman's name is. And there, um, it was a really good game. And, like, it was a good exchange. And it was just, like, a good interaction online. And I was making a joke where it's, like, the only salt I get is from Trump players. Only. Like, literally every other deck is, like, doesn't matter. But then, against Tron players, it's, like, why do they always have to say something? It's, like, they're just, I don't know why, but are they just, like, always entitled? Like, <laughs> like why do you have to say stuff like this? It's, like, yeah, I'm going to have a uh, cyber hate against you. <laughs> not It's not Cave Dan. It was, like, Magic Dan or something, or MTG Dan. The, the person was on Burn. And it was a really good game. Like, the game was really close. And it lost by, like, the slimmest of margins. And they, like, add everything. And I really tapped the top taking back and forth. And it was great. It was a really good game. And it was, and we're, like, complimenting, like, like, he had a really cool, like, rest in peace. And it was really cool. Like, the art was, like, that, the, the dog art. And I was, like, oh, that's a cool art. It was, like, a pleasant exchange. And I was saying, like, you know, most of the interactions online is great. And then every time it's something bad, it's always a Tron player. I just don't understand. Why are Tron players always like this? I just don't get it. It's like they just want to like fucking slam their dick on the table and go, yeah, look, I'm going to fucking just do whatever I want. And you're like, you're just going to lose. It's like, no, dude, I'm going to interact with you. <laughs> it's like you ex you think you're just going to play the, the game and then just think that you're just going to like steamroll and it's like no dude we're gonna interact with you <laughs> uh this this is the with the situation where i don't like this card like this hand is like almost a snap keep but like this literally is just the worst land <sighs> that makes that i do kind of want to keep it we're on the play we have a redraw uh Freed media. I want to play in a Warzoff League where I have um, Manatai. That's on my to-do list. And I just want to Manatai people just to tilt people. I kind of want to keep this. How greedy am I? Very greedy. Let's fucking do it. Let me put this here. This is such a greedy hand, but like... I don't fucking care. I just don't care. Abs and Shadow, the set of mana type. I don't know about that. I'm gonna pop this on upkeep in case they're a discard spell deck. Uh, sorry, I just like. Is it the path or the field that has the issue here? I mean, I think field of rune is kind of necessary. I feel like cryptic command. Oh, this must be like a, the aspiring spike, like Grixis list. I think it's one of those things where Rousey, where it's like you kind of need the field of the ruin. So then, you I'd rather have just this be another fetch land, and it's a nice combination with lures too. With bobbles, I mean, you can like scry trick. Yikes! Never punished. Fucking just get lucky every time. Every time. Ever had, ever had a speed up and, and you're ahead on clock? A lot of time, honestly. Because like, there, there are games where I just tank. Like, that game, I was tanking a lot. And it's like... they, You know, I've had games where they complain. Okay. That was interesting. Joe, I was a great player there. If you're curious, I agree. I agree, Sol. I agree with you. But that's why we're trying it. So I kind of want to play this snap out and hold up green uh, just to play around Snapcaster Mage.
Just to play around Snapcaster Mage. Play some Mantis. Yeah, Boggles is like the me Manatai deck for sure. It's Spikes list. I don't know what's exactly what's in it. I just, I was like half falling asleep watching Control Freak stream really. I know he mentioned Grixis Luris. I figured this is probably that. Crypto Command plus Luris, right? Okay, sure. Are you winning, son? I hope so. They're scouring you to turn on Drown the Lock. That makes sense. Too bad the Drown the Lock is not up. So they don't have Snack Master Mage. I kind of want to just eat the Fatal Push here. Actually, I can hold up Green Mana. I'm just going to eat. I don't want to eat a creature, though. I think I'll just eat Fatal Push now. I don't want to eat anything. Because we, we literally have Luris. On tapping with Bob is just so good. Oh. I don't think this is a turn where I want to put Luris in hand. I think it's a turn where I just want to go aggro. Hold up the K for the Sprite Dragon. So let's upkeep Bobble them. They push now, it's awkward. What are they holding black mana for? Are they targeting me. Okay. Waiting for me to play around discard spells. Makes sense. Let's do this. Lightning bolt. That's not fun. Why do you have to do this opponent? Spike is just like contagious because he has some pretty cool brews too. So then like if you have a cool brew and like he is a great player, so it's like anything you play is like he's gonna at minimum three two, right? So it's like This is a kind of a cool turn. Like if they spend their turn bolting attacking, we can decay it. We can untap, attack with tree top with plus whatever they don't bolt, and then we just put Luris in hand. It's pretty sweet. Oh, I guess I don't have enough mana to do both. Hmm. Holding up crypto command. I guess I can't do both. Hmm. I gotta decay this now. It leaves up Bolt for my Scavenging Ooze. I think that's fine. I mean, they're at 9 already. What are they doing? Casting Cryptic Command? Casting Cryptic Command. So they have Bolt, Cryptic, Unknowns. Okay. We're just gonna eat Sprite Dragon to gain some life. Curious if I should attack with this Bob though, because if they did draw Snapcaster Mage, I kind of don't want to attack into it, right? Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't know what the card is. Okay, that makes me feel better about attacking in a Snackcaster Mage. So I guess we can attack first. See what they do. And then we can go, and if they don't play Snackcaster Mage, we can just put Luris in hand, play second Bob. We got Snackcaster Mage. They bluffing? <laughs> like, 
I'll play this first, just to play around Mana Leak, I guess. Polaris in hand. I don't know, Izzle. So we read the Snapcaster. I don't know why they didn't try to ambush it, though. Why didn't they ambush? I, I feel like this is such a great trade for them. Who knows? Who knows? I guess we could hide this now. But then they, I mean, if they ambush, I still got to resolve a Dark Confidant. <laughs> like, I don't know what they're trying to accomplish here. I don't, I don't get it. Like, if they, like, if their plan was to, like, not let me resolve a two-drop, like, I got to resolve my two-drop anyway. So I got to keep a Bob. I, I, I don't get it. I, I just don't get the line. I'm not going to just, like, drown him in card advantage, essentially. So we can attack. See if they cryptic. They probably don't. I'll probably attack and then attempt a fatal push. We can... What do we reveal with Bob? We can play this. So then they can like counter bounce Snapcaster if they really wanted to. But that seems kind of loose. They they can counter this, but then like, I think I'm fine with this. Like whatever they mode they choose off cryptic, the fact that we got to attack is kind of crazy. Huh. Is it worth trophying the Snapcaster Mage to turn off a Cryptic Command? Because if we trophy the Snapcaster Mage, they don't get to draw a card. I think the answer is yes. But if we trophy this, then we can't Thoughtseize. So we have to, like, field and then Thoughtseize. I guess we can let this resolve, because I'd rather just play Lurus. Yeah, I don't want to put them up mana. I think this is fine. Let's see what they're going to draw off. Oh, I, I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. I didn't want to activate Bobble there. I just, like, click through. If they bolt here, that's fine. The fact that we don't have double black is also very awkward. Force negation. Because I wanted to ball with them now and then field. So I just like really fucked up. It's okay though. I'm gonna have to field probably at the end of their turn here. Watery Grave. They're not replaying Lurus, though. It's just interesting. Or they're not putting Lurus in hand. Let's do this now. Try to get our black sources online. I 
Bob's are so good. Well, that kind of answers the question on what we should do. <laughs> He's waiting for the right time to just get in there, you know? Just waiting. So they don't have cryptic. They do not have cryptic. It was waiting for its time to shine. Treetop Village is like, I'm ready to go in, coach. I'm ready to go in. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> um, I don't know what... I, do, I honestly don't know what's in... Sorry, I'm spiked list, and I kind of don't want to look. I kind of want to take out the trophy at minimum because it, like, ramps them. I don't know, Freed Mania. I don't know. Who knows? So it's just like, it's just like discard spells, pushes, bolts, drowns, crypt, excuse me, snapcaster mages. I think we want at least these three spell bombs. I could see maybe like collective brutality come in just because it kills Lurus and it can be a discard spell. I guess we can just cut these pushes, keep just the decays. Yeah, I agree with you, Maximized. I don't know for anybody, yeah. Six band people equals true top village, yeah. <laughs> Just waiting to get tagged in, you know? Just waiting to get tagged in. I guess they do have Sprite Dragon, so it's like, maybe we want some number of pushes, but we already have the three decays, right? It's like, maybe I want Fatal Push over Millstone Plus just because it's more efficient. Like, the only thing that I'm killing in this list looks like a Sprite Dragon, Snapcaster Mage, and Lurises. And then Millstone Plus is just, like, not that great. I think I'd rather just have a push. I'm going to have a removal spell, right? Just because it's just more mana efficient. I think you can trim Discord for Whispers, maybe. I think I like just like having discard spells though. But since I already have one slot, I could just, just do this. Just have two whispers. I think that's fine. Right? Look how lean this list is. Holy Jesus. I can actually like I'm I can actually be on, on board for like trimming a land for a, uh for a night's whisper. I actually think that's fine. We don't twenty two lands when we cut our three drop, we only have ones and twos. I think going down to twenty two is fine here. I think this is fine. Close to the mirror, yeah. But in in like mid range mirrors, where like the other mid range deck has counter spells, I like having the discard spells though. Let's bring this over here so I don't forget about you, my little kitty. Both kept seven. Both players did keep seven. Island. You got a bobble up on it. I can't bobble trick ourselves, so we're gonna get Overgrown Tomb. Since they do run discard some of themselves, I'm going to upkeep Inquisition them. Or upkeep Bobble them. They're going to target themselves. Okay. I don't know why they're doing that now. This is the only card they could do. <laughs> what? They can't cast a Sprite Dragon. <laughs> oh no. Opponent. Okay. Hopefully they don't draw a red land. <laughs> no red source, please. No red source. Archmage's Charm. 
Can we beat two spray dragons? We can beat one spray dragon. Do we just play Bob here? Make them kill it? Don't think that is a bad line here. Do I want to get overgrown to him? Can I go to 14? I think I do because if I draw like Field of Ruin, I want Scavenging Ooze mana. I think I like Slamming Bob because we also just want to be able to like double spell and we want to draw lands. Don't draw Red Source. Okay. They can't even Arc Mage's Charm. Okay, they have the push. That's fine. They can't even Archmage's Charm. Hand is very awkward for them. They put Luris in hand. I'm gonna play Scooze. They'll probably go Luris, Bobble. Maybe Decay it. Play the Luris, buddy. Play the goddamn Luris. Got the red source. Got there. Got, 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 got there. Luris. I mean, they're going to bring back a bauble, which is unfortunate. But we're going to exile the Sprite Dragon, decay it, and attack. If we draw a land here, we can get in for 8 11. Okay. Eat this. Land wouldn't be a bad draw. Hmm. I guess we just decay. Decay. Play the second scoose. Tack. Seven. The screws. I don't think we need lands, Free Media. Like, we're just trying to win. Like, we just want to be able to overload the removal here. The fact that they're on the back foot with these Sprite Dragons in hand is just so good for us. Because, like, next turn we can just Whispers here. Like, we don't need the lands. Waiting if they want to shuffle. I mean, they could Snap Push, which is annoying. So they like, but then they need to do it on their turn. So they didn't like what they were going to draw. They could back up the seven cards, which is crazy. Draw push. Okay. Oh, that's worst case scenario. That is literal worst case scenario. It's kind of funny how we have two scoos in hand play and they just have they just get out of it with Snapcaster Rays. It's so funny. So they have Arc Major Starn, Sprite Dragon, Sprite Dragon Unknown. I guess we just Inquisition for starters. We still have enough mana to like attack through. Double Arc Major's Charm. Holy Jesus. We only have one red source. I guess we just arc we just take the argument just term. This end of the story cost four, but that's the whole turn. So we take the charm. 
I guess we just whispers here. I guess we get attack first. Let's attack first. They block, we eat Lurus, whispers into it. And then just whispers post combat. Thing is, like, do I also want to play once another snack Aster Mage off the top? I don't think I do. Do I? I think it's safer just to hold. Because I also want to play around Lightning Bolt, right? So I think it's just better just to eat Snack Aster Mage here and then just untap. I think this is just the better line. I just played into Snack Aster Maze last turn. I don't want to do it again this turn. You gotta. This is just waiting the wings again. You know, it's just like I'm ready, Coach. I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. It was a close game. Peace out better. Thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in. Wow, 52 viewers, guys. Thanks everyone for tuning in. You guys are awesome. Appreciate it. Got a good crowd today. People love rock, man. <laughs> People just love the rock. I have one push left, right? There's four push. There should be three in the sideboard. Yeah. How's it going, Jared Duncan? Hope you're doing well. Okay, that's the card they drew for turn. Into the story. People love modern. Sweet. Two and oh. Okay, I want to go from our Tron opponent last game was very salty. Tron opponents are always salty. And then we have this opponent who is very, very pleasant. And I just want to point out that 99% of the time, my interaction on Moto is fantastic. Like, this is fantastic, right? Like, just opponent is joking around, great attitude. This is like, this is great, right? And then, I don't know why, the only salt I get is from Tron opponents. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I only play BGX. So it's like, of course, the Tron opponents like, oh, this person's playing Stoneforge Mystic. I'm going to fucking destroy them. And then they fucking lose. And it, and then they get mad. Maybe. I don't know. But maybe if I play like Infect, then Tron players would never like Salt. Because then it's like a bad matchup for them. So they just accept it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to gauge. Off to a good start, 2-0. Pretty good, pretty good. This list feels pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Having Lurus as a companion is pretty sick. And just having all these 4-0s feels pretty good. And just having Field of Ruin against Tron is pretty gas. Pretty gas. Luckily, I bought my Arena Tears foil already, so I'm pretty happy about that. I had an else player get really salty a couple weeks ago. <laughs> what did you play though? What did you do? Did you like nut draw or something for them to get mad? Look at Chanamoto is also pretty pleasant. I agree with you. The legacy community is pretty good. I haven't played legacy in like years ever since that three shaman got manned. But I will say the legacy community is pretty decent. Very, very good. They always expect to win and it's when they always bitch about OD and they barely lose to it. Yeah, I know. It's like our opponent had a chance. It's just, you know, when you're dicking around with like seven converted mana cost of seven you know of cmc seven or more it's like if you get your land killed you can get mad about it blue tron player over here <laughs> infects 
stream channel point goal. I need a Mana Traders account for me to do that. I don't have a Mana Traders account. I actually own my whole collection on Magic Online, which is just BGX, <laughs> which is like Abzan, Rock, Orzhov, and then I have most of Gen. I don't have all the Zoomer stuff. I don't think I have all the Season Pyromancers. I definitely don't have Crooks's, but I do actually have Red and Six, ironically, because I actually bought Red and Six at like 40 ticks or whatever, and then they spike to like 100, and I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> like... Hey, it's pretty decent. I was on Jun and they got greedy and didn't chump block my goy. I'll keep. And throw like three turns and I brought Crux back to. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. Crux is pretty sweet. Botanical Sanctum. Is that. I get like Neoform flashbacks with this land, but it's probably like Banned Spirits or something. I guess we'll find out. I need three extra gears. Is there another alternative to the fourth I can run? In this specific deck, you could probably run like a Spellbomb main or like um, a Cling to Dust or something like that. So we're against Living End. This is pretty awful. Um, we take the Arden Play. So long. Farewell. Probably to lose this game. Uh, I think the hex type is not at all that it's made up to be. Um, I wrote an article about how I really like. Uh, I'm gonna play Bob here, even though it's the slowest clock. I want to draw into discard spells. I think in case they don't draw into a land. I made an article about hex drinker like two years ago. <laughs> so actually, I, I am a huge fan of Hex Trigger. You can't convince me otherwise. They don't have... They didn't search white here. So they could have like an Ardent Play stuck in their hand. Yeah, I agree with you, Free Media. Never mind. They just have the white land. Just naturally. So now we're just going to have to just clock them. No other way around it attack here i mean i guess they could violent outburst but we just play out our duders and then just hope they don't have it grim flare oh yeah grim flare would actually be not be would not be a bad fourth hex drinker replacement for sure for sure you are right we just need to hope that they whiff how about that? They just whiff, right? Is that is that a, is that uh too much to ask? They just whiff for like two turns. Is that too much to ask? It's too much to ask, right? Okay, that means they whiffed if they're cycling here. Okay. Okay. No no payoffs are here for two turns. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Do they have basic planes in their deck? I guess I'm totally feeling running that Sacred Foundry, right? I feel they're running that shit so fast. So fast. Slightly too slow. Slightly too slow. I think we just attack and then just hope they don't have it, right? Nice cube mana base over there. Oh, they just have it. Cut. Can I beat the sports state? I think the answer is no. Oh, living end. Why you do this to me? I just can't play X1 in a modern right now when Labrador and Ring. I agree with you. It's why I don't like. This was before, like, the, when I made the article about Hexinker, this is before Lava Dart was kind of. People, this was before people discovered Lava Dart. Um, people didn't discover Ren and Six yet. Or people did discover Ren and Six, sorry. But I still think Hexinker is still decent right now. Uh, spell bombs. 
All right, let's see what we want out first. The pushes and the decays are pretty bad, right? So we need three more cards, so Surgical can come in. I guess we can just Knight's Whisper. I can see maybe a trophy coming in, just to like hit their mana potentially, but I think this is just fine. I just can't play blah, blah, blah. Please that format seems two slogans prowls preventing that one dice to darts. Yeah, I I Cletus is okay because like you're slowing them down with like push and stuff, so it's like Cletus is one of those things where if you're able to turn the corner, it turns the corner nicely and you're less likely to die. Like it's not it's it's it is slow, but it's like I think you still board it in if you have it in the side. Where like if you're playing Souls List, like where you it has two Cletus on the side, you definitely board it in. Yeah, exactly. It's not a key part of the plan, but it's like it's the part where it's like you close the door, right? And that's kind of the most most important. Uh, do I want to board and collector brutality? Probably not. Probably not. Let's just go like. Ah, uh, should I want heartless act? I mean, it can kill something. It's just like a clean two minute answer. Do I want more than pulse? Do I want more than trophy? Maybe I want more than trophy. Um, uh, nah, just go like that. This is fine. Yeah. Tomargo's just so good in that matchup. Like, Tomargo's the best card in the matchup, arguably. Do we just Mulligan to Spell Bomb here? I think we have to, right? Like, if I keep this hand, I better fucking hope that my Bob or my Night Whisper digs into a Spell Bomb. I have three Spell Bomb. I think I'm mulling on this. I think I need to just mull into Spell Bomb. I'm going to also mull into six. <sighs> not looking, it's not looking good for us. Okay, we, we, we got there. Okay, so we got, a, we got a four, right? So I think it's like Goyf, Land... I think it just has to be like this. It goes land, land, spell, bomb, goif. Just like threat into interaction. I think this is fine. Yeah, if they have leyline, we're just fucked anyway, right? So <laughs> we're just fucked anyway. If only this was a soul guide lantern. Incoming, whatever that red mana destroy target artifact. Yeah. Fuck me. The good news is our Torba goes big now. Let's hope that they don't have anything. <laughs> Dog has entered the chat. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Charlotte and it is just kind of annoying for sure. For sure. Do you have a second ingot sure, buddy? Do you have a second one? Okay. My goif gets flying? Thanks. I think it's one of those things where like, you just have to have a game plan for it. 
whether the gate plan is good or not. It's, I mean, I I like having Kaya's guile, but that's a discussion for another time. Because I like Kaya's guile because it plays around ley line, you know. Uh, I'm not losing faith that quick, poisonly. You gotta believe, buddy. You gotta believe. If we can beat Tron, we can beat this. This is clearly the worst matchup. Just run four spell bomb, four soul guy lantern, and this matchup will be a piece of cake. <laughs> cool. Hexy sexy. Hexy sexy. If we draw a discard spell, it's a turn. It's we win next turn. Thing is, I guess they can living in for value. Okay. What I should have done, actually, this was too greedy. I should have um, put Luris to hand. I think. Should I have? Because then I could crack Spell Bomb and then next turn bring Spell Bomb back. I think it's close. Okay. They just not have a cycle right now. It's something I should have thought of. I, maybe this ends up being correct, but it's definitely something I should have thought of before I just like blindly just level up Hex Drinker. I think it's close though. So if they don't have violent operas, they just lose, right? Okay. That was the car that we needed to grow Mr. Gurf. <laughs> just take this. Exactly. As I was saying, like, Thoughtseek is the card we need to win the game because we're one short of lethal. If I remember correctly. I think they're at eight, right? Just run this back. Yeah, they need a Brazen Borrower. Okay. Mole and a Spell Bomb. Say we won into four and we got there, right? You gotta believe. Poison Lee, you have to believe. You just gotta believe you're gonna have the second spell bomb. Have some faith. Have some faith. I'm gonna have three spell bombs in my opener. That's just gonna happen. Three spell bombs, two lands, Tarmogoyf. Okay. It is not three spell bombs. One is in the tank. In the tank arena. Uh, on the Mulligan to Spellbomb plan. <laughs> <gasps> okay. Two cards. Well, this is a for sure. I think we want these three cards at minimum. Do we just bought him a Field of Ruin at minimum? I think we bought him Field of Ruin and maybe we just bought him Hex Drinker. I think we just bought him these two. Yep. 
Bob, we have faith in Bob here. And Bob, we trust. Robert, Anthony, Confidante. Come on, Robert. No red mana. No red mana for the Inca Chur for the spell bomb. Bob's just gonna draw me spell bomb into spell bomb. That's how it works, right? That was a good draw. Because we needed a green source. I'm gonna upkeep bubble them. Incoming mana tide. I would be so mad. <laughs> so mad. I'm not gonna lie. Sure. Turn off all yields. Don't ink got me. Don't do it. No. Let's see if they stack it right. They did not stack it right. They didn't. They stacked it correctly. So good opponent. So good. Second incoming spell bomb right here. Call on it. Watch it. Watch this. Watch this. The hell spell bomb off the top. Here we go. Right here. Mm. Spell bomb off the top. That's not. Oh. Mm. That's arguably the worst draws we could have had. <laughs> I like how everyone's like, I call going. I call screws. And it's like none of the above. <laughs> it's like worst possible. Okay. They could just not have anything here, too. That'd be great. Come on, Robert. Robert Anthony Confidante. Robert Anthony Confidante. Robert. Fuck's sake, man. I mean, if they don't have anything, we just put Lurst in hand and then cast Spell Bomb after, right? So, this ain't bad. We just go lure, spring back spell bomb. So we need a whiff here. A little good old whiff Rooney. Good old whiff Rooney. Don't do it, opponent. Okay. Don't do it, opponent. Opponent, don't do it, don't do it. No, one time, one time. Okay, can we beat this? <laughs> they have to kill their own dude. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. We could Heartless Act 1. Hmm. I guess I can wait on this bubble. I guess we go lure, spring back, spell bomb here. Yeah. I 
I mean, they can start hard casting threats soon, which is kind of shitty. Okay, they're drawing this fucking 5-5. Five five. Fuck. This does not look good for the home team. We need Tarmogoyf off the top. Come on, deck. What are you doing here? What, whose side are you on? Whose side are you on? Landflare, land screwed. Yeah, because now they just fucking play this. We have to block here. We we kind of technically go to five, but. I wonder if I just do this now. Just so like they don't get any value out of this. They're so close to casting that 5-5. Five five. They can't be able to cast it next turn. How do we get out of this? Lingering souls? They should have attacked. Because, like, I'm forced to block it. and But now I get to actually get value out of here. Okay, that goif's a little late. I think I have to ball on myself here. And I have to like shuffle whatever card I don't like. Hope to draw Melstone Pulse into, I think a Border of Assassin's Trophy, right? Yeah. Tarmagod. No bueno. I'm gonna have to draw, like, hope to draw into Melstrom Mel Pulse exactly here into. <laughs> okay, so we're dead. That's what you're telling me. We're dead here. So we go to four. I need to draw. I think, yeah, I brought all my trophies, right? Yeah, do I have any outs here? I don't think I do. Fortunate. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. At least there's so much, uh, much more game than Tron. They didn't. Huh. Okay, whatever. All right, Bobble. I don't think I have any outs, but just to confirm. Deck, what are you doing? I cut a land! I cut a land post board, right? I swear I did. There should be a further in the sideboard. Did I not? Oh, that was the other match. I forgot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yikes. That's how it breaks sometimes, though. It's all good. Fucking living end. All right, I'm gonna bear back. I need to use the restroom and get some more water. I will be right back. Let me put the deck list on. Thanks for tuning in. Just give me just a few minutes. Sorry if my dog is making my foot fall asleep. Bear back.
stupid living end. Why? Oh. What are you doing? Fifty seven viewers, guys. Thanks for all for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying this rock content. If you guys want to support the channel, please hit that follow button on Twitch. Trying to get a thousand followers, and the main driver for that is I've noticed that the mana traders, content creator thing, they require a thousand followers at minimum to kind of get sponsored by them, and that's kind of my goal. Because that way I can start actually playing more than just Abzan. I will probably play Abzan more than ninety percent, or BGX. Sorry, I'll probably play BGX more than ninety percent of the time. But like people want. Purchase Sora, thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it. But people want to play other decks, or even like Pioneer, for example. Like I literally can't. Like oh, I guess I can. I have the tickets, but it's just it's just like I kind of have to spend the tickets, right? And it's just hard uh, to get constantly like keep up. So it would really support me, and I'd really appreciate it if you guys hit that follow button because that would help me try out different spices. I can start doing Dono decks. Like that's kind of my goal here. So I'd really appreciate it for doing that. And then if you guys want to check out my old content you guys can go to my youtube youtube concepts ko diamonds and then if you guys want to stream updates you guys can go to my twitter it's twitter com says ko diamonds with 22 at the end of it all the info is on the bottom of the screen how has knight's whisper felt do you think orzov could run some i don't really like knight's whisper i kind of would, I'd, I'd, honestly i'd rather just run a cling to us it's just it's less cards up front but you have like the incidental yard hate and then like I don't know. It just I I would rather just have cling to dust. Like look at this switcher right here. Like I'd rather just have a cling to dust. I'm 100 trading low. 100. percent Give me a land deck. Give me a land. So if it was me, like I'm copying Logan 75. I'm not gonna change it because I'm streaming his deck. But if I were to kind of adapt this, I would play um. Uh. Cling to dust instead. Arguably the best draw. In the deck. That was literally so clutch. <laughs> this nice was for so bad. I could be getting three life here if it was cling to dust. Cling to dust is just I. I think is I just love cling to dust. You haven't lived until you like cling to dust or something, and then you kill a scourge because you're over twenty life. The other thing I did was a scourge was a five five. And I like had a sword of fire nice and I like triggered it, shocked the scourge, and then gained three and killed it. So good. I might just put Luris to hand, honestly. I could also just play Scavenging Ooze. I like Scavenging Ooze. Scavenging Ooze Arena. Take two, gain one back. Sure. So I'll go to 18 here. Make all our opponents get out one goblin guide here. Uh, if I did that, then my goyf would be out of bolt range, though. So I kind of don't want to do that. If they want to spend a bolt bolting my scavenging ooze, I think that's fine. Okay. Because if I don't do this, then they just attack me and I'm like super behind. This like forces them to do something, like send a bolt to my scooters. Maybe it was also just too aggressive to attack with the turn right there. Maybe I should have maybe kept it back. I think it's close. They tap played Sacred Foundry tapped. Okay. How to fatal push? Deck, what are you doing to me? Because now I can't even like if I do Luris, that's just so bad. Because I go Luris into Scooze, like. 
That doesn't really accomplish anything. Just take so much damage here. I think we just have to do this, though. There is a line where I actually play Bob out here. But I think getting Luris in hand is just better. Because, like, if we can... If we do this, and then, like, there we kind of gum up the ground, and then if they attack, we block, they bolt, and we can just go Luris, bring back Tomergoyf. Cut. They're also kind of, like teetering on death too like them taking two damage off this Eidolon is actually pretty bad for them too Doll. Hmm. interesting Interesting. They have two cards in hand. It is an easy block. But I'm just trying to figure out what they could have. So they bolt. They could bolt the Goyf to like kill it, but then it doesn't accomplish anything. They could bolt me. I go to nine. Sorry, yeah. Nine. Oh, they go helix. <laughs> this is just comical at this point. So I guess we go Lure Scoos. We go to uh, five. Hope they don't have double bolt. We could also just play Luris. If I play Luris, I go to seven. I can attack with Tomrogoy. If they go to six, they bolt my Luris. Four. If they have if they have double bolt, we can't win anyway. Like if they have double bolt, we are screwed, right? So we need to hope they whiff. So how do we win this game? I think I just cast Luris by itself. And then not the Scoos, right? I'm trying to figure if I want to attack with this Tomogoyf. If I attack, they go to six. If they if they have like bolt, they bolt the Luris, attack. I'm at seven. They go to three. Yeah, I agree with you. Unless they have like a bolt a burn spell here, but if they do, then that's bad. But if they have two mana burn spell in hand, anyway, if they draw a bolt, then they, it doesn't matter. So I think the play here is just play Luris and attack with the Goyf and try to win. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fielding Canyon. Oh, you're right. I should have fielded first. I can still do it on my damage step, though. I could actually just do it now if I wanted to. Just to protect Laris. You're right. If they have, like, Helix. Good call. This is close. This Knight's Whisper is so bad. <laughs> so bad. It's 
just get this out of here. Fun is in the tank. Charm? Oh, that's actually fine. That's actually fine. So now we actually have lethal and we are safe through one burn spell. So if we can, if we have them, if we have them whiff on two lands, if they just go land land, we're actually good here. They have lava spike, it doesn't do it. If they have I mean bolt wins it too, because they just bolt and they have enough power. So Ooh, Seal of Fire. That does it. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked with Goyf then. Maybe that Goyf attack was greedy. I don't know, like, how do we win, though? Because then we force attacks on their turn, right? Hmm. Yeah. Unfortunate. This cards came too late. Unfortunate. What are the back cards? The four bombs and the night whispers. Yeah, I think that was a correct attack, even though it didn't work out. Have I tried Arcvine's Fessel with Lurus? I don't know what that card does, Baz. One one lifelink and just about if it. If it if it enter from your graveyard, it cast it from your graveyard, exile if you do create a... Huh. That's interesting. Like, discard it with Liliana and then cast it. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of cute. <laughs> that's pretty cute. Pulsin. Yeah, it is most games. It usually just comes down to like a top deck, and then those, and then like the canopy lands are just so good because like they just they just get to like get a free re redraw. So it's like, so. Sans Dees. Sans Dees. We can bubble trick ourselves. Try to get a collective brutality of some sorts. We only have one. But any sort of life game would be pretty good here. Termogod is fantastic. I'll take a Termogod. Termogod is revealed. The hand is a lot of do nothings. Take the bolt. That's a hand. That is quite the hand. They target themselves. Rift bolt. Cut. So they have Mesa, Skewer, Unknown. I'm gonna play Tremor God here. Forgot to board out Thoughtsies. I am an idiot. <laughs> Just forgot to board out Thoughtsies. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
I could theoretically thought seize the skewer. And then play Hex Drinker. I could theoretically do that, but I think that's just too bad. I think I'd rather just go Tarmogoyf here. I just feel like there's not enough cards to bring in. Oh my god, Dylan. You are treating me too well. Thank you for the raid. 58 viewers, welcome everyone for tuning in. We're playing Logan Nettles version of Beat Your Rock with Luris as a companion. Welcome everyone. My name's K.O. Diamonds. How's your stream, Dylan? Hope it went well. I saw you're playing Belcher. I was kind of, kind of, uh, what's the word? Like delving into the shadows. Because I like, kind of had you on the background, so I couldn't play too much, but I saw you were playing Belcher. I know what's in there addicting. Nice. Gotta love the emotes. Gotta love the emotes. How does your Belcher stream go? That was what you were playing, right? I really think that... I really don't like uh, the Whispers. I really wish it was a Cling, honestly. Or even like a main deck spell bomb. That's... But who knows? We are just going to beat our opponent up with a... Six seven Termagod. That's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna end the game quick. End our opponent's misery here. Oops. I'm gonna take the step out of my damage step. We went three two waste not four one belcher two three blitzy was under nice. Oh no, this so good there's yeah. I agree with you. I again, it, it, I honestly think it could be a lot of things. It could be an unearth. It could be a clang. It could be a lot of those things. I agree with you. I gotta block here because it turns on their skewer. If I don't, hex drinker, especially because I have a backup. Like sure. How's it going, grilled cheese? Making me hungry. <laughs> and now I finish brewing up Strixhaven terrible decks. <laughs> I don't think it's terrible. <laughs> I think we feel the ruin this white source here. How do people feel about that? My decks are terrible. No, it's not terrible. I don't think your decks are terrible. Come on, man. I saw I saw you stream werewolves, man. That was a sweet deck. Can't disrespect the wolves, dude. How's it going, Sergio? How's it going, Arc Bond Twerker? Hope you're doing well. Helix me. Charm me. I mean, there we win next turn. Now they have no white mana. So, like, they can't cast Rest in Peace if they boarded that in, which I don't think they would because they have Lures. So, that's one thing, the less, the less thing to worry about. I agree, Spaz. I agree with you 100%. I, I don't like Night's Whisper in this list, 100%. For sure. Yeah, the thing about I, I, I think it's close between Unearth and Cling. I just like Cling just because it never hurts to have quick graveyard hate, right? The life gain is relevant and it's card advantage in one card where a late late game you just pay four mana and then you just you know, you just go off, right? Uh they can't kill us. They have to skewer this. Okay.
I'm gonna put Laris in hand. Yeah, I'm gonna put Laris in hand. They need they need to go. They can't they can't play a white source. Oh, I guess they have inspiring advantage. They need to go literal inspiring advantage, Boris Charm plus Bolt. Do I bring Luris back here? I think the answer is no. I got punished if they go Inspiring Vantage Path and then I don't have anything. If they go like Creature, Land, Land, Creature, Charm, they still can't win, so it doesn't matter. So we just bring Luris back. If we're at six, I think it'd be a different story. I do not like the pathways for sure. I, I like there's a lot of things I don't like about this list, but I'm literally just copying Logan 75. That's just why I'm just playing it. Like I'm not I'm not gonna like if you want me to make play a list that's adapting it, sure, but like my take on it, like over the weekend, like I played a Ords off list at five owed and then I just um uh and then my I sprued my own list that I felt was better. I mean I could do that. But I think the first league, I'm just going to play my iteration of it. Uh, just play the 75, and then if I'm going to want to change anything, I will. What well, makes me not like those little hands? Because I have hands where I have, like, Feel the Ruin Pathway as my opener, and it's like I don't have double colors, and it feels really awkward. Uh, I'm going to board these thoughts eases out. Guess I have to bring Trophy in. Fuck. There's not enough cards in here for burn, Logan. There's not enough cards. Do we just have to board him bobs as like a, a speed bump? It's either it's either bobs or spell bombs. Maybe I just like go like this. I don't know. Like they're never gonna bring Lurus to hand. It's just not a possibility. So do we just have speed bumps here? Spell wants this draw card must be good. I wish I could submit a fifty six card deck. It's like fuck. Like I don't want to spend my turn cycling this. That's not what the game is about. This deck is not equipped for burn. I can also just see like Luris main. Cause we're never gonna have a we're never gonna have a game where we can like. Like the fact that we have to spend a whole turn putting in a hand and another turn to cast it, that's just really, really optimistic. Maybe we just bring Luris in the main deck. Like how many games are we gonna actually be able to like cast Luris as a companion? I think I like Spellwall though, because it actually grows Goyf too. Yes, Burn still plays Staring Blaze. Think about those, like, Bob is just such a fucking liability. Let's try this. Just mull into six, mull into five, mull into four, make my life easy. It's gonna be pretty hard on the draw. Okay, well, this hand is obviously absolute ass. This hand has collective brutality in it, must be good. <laughs> We're gonna bottom the trophy here. Hopefully, they don't go one drop creature. If they do, it wouldn't be too bad. Kind of want to keep the the bobble in hand, maybe? Mm, I don't think so. I guess the redraw is better. Engineer explosives. Jig is up. Jig is up. Yeah, Weather Storm is kind of narrow. I agree. Let's 
Sacred Foundry. Not good info. Swiss Sphere Spike. Oh, man. They'll probably go Swiss Sphere. I have to take the idol on here. Maybe since I revealed engineer explosives, they won't play the love the Swiss sphere. That'd be so funny. I gotta take the aisle on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, thank you for the uh the bits, buddy. Appreciate it. Okay, that's a good draw. Pet the doggo. Uh, I could I could bring her up after the match. She, that's she, she's just like literally sleeping right here. I don't. She's black, so you can't tell, but that she's right there. Bahamas. <laughs> so our opponent has all lands. Okay, that's good because now we can, um, brutality and gain life. Is that what we want to do? Guess we have to. There's no point in dressing. We know all the cards on the hand. We're definitely going to brutality escalate once. Probably pitch the field of ruin. I'm trying to figure out if I want to destroy Goblin Guide or Swiss Fear. I think I just destroy Goblin Guide. Escalate two modes, minus two, minus two, drain, kill, drain, pitch field to run. What would be scary is if they put Luris in hand. That would be very bad for us. I actually think that would be correct. And then we just go engineer explosives on one. They probably go lure, spring back goblin guide. Okay. They have lures, islet unknown. Hmm. That's the plan I realized. That's what I'm going to do. I guess this bobble's free. Just to know what they're gonna do. Boros charm. Good to know. So they could, if they have a land, they do have the land here, so they can go lure, bring back goblin guy. What they should do is they should just um, attack with just this. And then they can go Lurse. And then if I pop, then they force me to just take it. Yeah. And if they go like Lurse, bring back Goblin Guide post combat, then I can pop it. But. Let's see what they do. I have to take this one. I thought it was just like Lurse, bring it back. It's not looking good for the home team. We're not presenting any clock here. Basic Forest would be a good draw because we can pulse the lures so they cast it, play Hex Shrinker. So we can like kill and play threat. Okay, they go lures. Pig Alma Guide. Okay. Okay, if this is their turn, that's fine. So they have Borrower's Charm Unknown. Kill everything. I think we just have to pulse this. Mm, do we actually pulse here? We're gonna play a land for sure. Cause like they have a Boris Charm in hand. We could also just play Hex Trinker, 
Hope they don't draw a burn spell. No, we have to because they're gonna bring back a creature. So I have to just pulse here. It sucks because this Inquisition ends up just being like. I wish I drew this last turn. Because now they just. This Inquisition is essentially dead. Unless they have like two mana spell, two mana spell, uh, card in hand. Dazed Yak, thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it. Okay. So, like, this, this, this Inquisition is just not great right now. Unless they have like path in hand. I guess I have to do this. If they have like path eggs, I'll have to protect my hex drinker. Okay. So that was punished. I think I want to do hex drinker. The thing about it, though, is, like, they also have two canopy lands again, so it's, like, last game. Or, like, the f game one. Sorry. I'm not gonna play this land. I guess I should have. I don't think it matters. No. Nothing. Have nothing. Have nothing. Yeah, it is not flying when you draw two. I agree. I mean, I, I, I don't have lethal, though. That's the problem. Ugh, Rift Bolts. Uh, we need... Even Scavenging Ooze doesn't do it. Can you believe it? Well, one short. Can you believe it? So close. We put them to one. So close. Have they just taken one more damage? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunate. GG. This is like, I'm going to go to what, put them to one just to like show how close this is. Good game. Close games, close games. Hi, you gotta live the 3 2 dream here. 3 2 dream. Opponent is 2 and 1. We are 2 and 2. Tron now, I'd be very upset. So this bubble is going to give us pretty good intel here because we can kind of see what they're going to draw and hopefully that gives information on if we should play these booming marks to fit to push something or if we can just safely deploy this treetop ledge. So let's see what they reveal here. Glistener Elf. Good intel, right? Good intel. Play Glistener Elf. Play against Infect, eh? Okay. There's no point in doing this. 
I guess I should save this. Because we're going to play Scavenging Ooze no matter what, unless I draw literally Dark Confidant. So are we digging towards Dark Confidant here? I guess not. I guess so, I mean. Like, I think I'd rather just draw into Dark Confidant here. Scale up. So we know they're going to shuffle out away. So hopefully we draw into Bob. Robert has been found. And I'll probably shuffle this away. So I, they're not going to draw the scale up. Yep. So we know they have Glistener Elf. So this will be sweet here because now we can Inquisition, Fatal Push, play Treetop next turn. Noble Hierarch. Okay. So now we can just like Inquisition here. Just draw all the removal, baby. Let's go. I guess we could want to play basic swamp. Just in case they pump this up. I don't think this is what I want to play cheat off ledger. I guess if they want to protect this, I can push it. So we can just do this. And if they don't, we can just treat top village here. I got punished. I got punished. Do I want to decay this high arc? I could also just alternatively just play Scavenging Ooze. So I should have played, just played the Swamp. I kind of like just deploying another threat here. If they have growth, I can... Um, Push in response. It's kind of accomplishes the same thing. I mean, they kind of want to definitely want to go elf and then double protect, right? Ooh, that's pretty gross. So, glistener elf unknown. Hmm. Which is smart, spaghetti. Like they're, this you can tell those opponents are pretty good infect player. There's no point in like def deploying the ghost elf into like open blooming marsh, right? It kind of makes sense. You could tell, I, I could tell they're playing very well. I should have played the land to play around Skull Pierce, though. That's just really unfortunate. Playing the other elf. Hopefully, Bob can draw us into another discard spell. That would be fantastic. Got there. I want to cast another spell pierce that'd be really funny wrangle raz thank you for the follow really appreciate it thank you for tuning in become a mats well checking the vines lord michael thank you for the follow really appreciate it They just can play that creature's blind. They know we have removal. Yeah, they can't exactly. So I'm going to... They can't become immense here either. So I think I just play this untapped. And then untack. And if they want to trade one of their creatures for a Dark Confidant, I'm totally down for that. I just love Siege Rhino. Don't we all? Who doesn't love Siege Rhino? <laughs> Yeah, I think we're just going to be super protective here. They have Breeding Pool Become Immense Unknown. We're just going to play the waiting game here. 
I don't mind taking two, in fact. Okay. Wow. Because they're one short off become a mensing. We're just going to eat their graveyard. Uh, so then they become a message is dead. Sucks because our clock is also kind of slow. Okay. Attack. I wonder if we all love it because he's trashed and we feel sorry for him. That's partially why. <laughs> His shell is for CJR and CJR adjacent decks. Exactly as bad as exactly. You get it. You get it. I think we got to hold up double removal spell so we can play a second Bob. And I don't mind trading here. Yep. Become a men's unknown. You can't get mad. You can get mad at Manatith. What are you talking about? You can definitely get mad at Manatith. <laughs> For sure you can. Yeah. Go to five. Eat this. I guess we can tap. I was thinking like maybe I want to push something and then eat it, but I think it's just safer to just do it on my turn. Green Greenleaf, thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it. We go Thoughtseize. If they have a protection spell, we push, decay, eat, win. So write one. Thoughtseize, push, decay, eat. Yeah, so this is that thought seed was a very good draw. We have a protection spell, we just push decay the other. Growth. That doesn't do anything. Take the become immense. Hand is they are hellbent. Decay this. Push this. Win. Cool, 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 cool. You know what we do? We just board in more removal. <laughs> more removal. Do we want the pulses? I feel like we don't want the pulses. I feel like we don't want the trophies. Like, I don't mind swapping trophy for, uh, for Harless Axe and then a couple uh, engineering explosives. How good is Scooze here? Collective Brutality seems decent. Do 
I don't think I want to play Knight's Whisper. I feel like the game isn't about trying to get two for ones here. And it's like we're if we're like tapping out just to cast it, just pretty bad. Like we need to hold up m multiple removal spells at the same time, right? I think we just trim a scavenging goose here, call it a day. Yeah, I don't want any sorcery speed removal. I don't think that's where we want to be. <laughs> this hand's so good. <laughs> so good. Oh, this is like Veil of Summer 100,000%, right? 100,000%. Fuck me. Don't do it. Fuck me. Fuck, 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 Veil of Summer. Not to fight through it, though. I mean, luckily we have more discard spells, right? Did they keep a one lander? They did not. Okay. Should I figure out if I want to play Treetop Village? I think I want to Thought Seize and then like hold up Fatal Push, right? So. I guess I just play this Dark Poor Pathway first and Thought Seize. Don't Veil of Summer, dude. Don't do it. All right, we take the Blossoming Defense. Unfortunate, because I kind of want to hold a Fatal Push for this Nexus. But we do have outs with Field of Ruin, right? Because they go, they go Ink Mod Nexus Blighted Agent. I guess we can decay it. Yeah, we take the Blossom Defense. Push this. Next we go Treetop Village, decay the Blighted Agent. Really need to draw Fielder in here. Blighted Agent. Oh. So that means they drew a protection spell. That's how I read that. Well, we're going to slam the mob here. Hope they don't kill us. Okay. They have Dryad Arbor, Water Glow Grove, Unknown. Okay. Come on, Robert. Robert Anthony Smith Confidante. That's not it, sir. That is not the right amount of combination of magic cards. I wanted to fetch a swamp, I fucked up. I'm not gonna decay now. I'm just going to hold it up for their turn. I'm surprised they don't want to play Dryad Arbor because then I can't attack with this Bob, which is so awkward. They're drawing a lot of lands here. I still don't know what the unknown card is. I feel like it's like a protection spell. Which I kind of have to fight through. Take six. I have to. 
and then I just have to decay now. Hopefully I hit something here. Though they don't have it. Okay, that's really good for us. We are trying a lot of lands here. <laughs> I guess we just animate treetop attack and then just bluff that we have to rule a spell here. And then we just have lethal next turn. And just hope they don't have any pump spells. Hope they just whiff here. Just draw Veil of Summer, it's fine. And draw all your Veil of Summers here. And they kind of have to go for it here, right? If they do have it. They need any pump spell. I guess when I decayed the agent, I should have done it on my turn. I would have been at five, in fact. But then any pump spell would have done it anyway. Yeah. What are they doing? They're cracking now? They should have cracked first. No pump spell one time. Just draw a bunch of just draw a bunch of Veil of Summers if wanted. Veil of Summers is a great magic card against BGX. Wow. Okay, they just didn't have it. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, we just didn't draw any removal, but that worked out. We got super lucky there. <laughs> so got that sweet 3-2. We beat Tron. We beat the Grixis Luris Spike Special. We beat Infect. And then we lost to Living End and Burn. Um, pretty sweet league. Um, again, this is a pretty fun list that Logan Nettles made. Uh, if I were to change it, I'd probably change it quite drastically. Like, I'd have a cling here. I wouldn't have... I, I think it's just a personal preference, but I hate these, like, one-for-one removal spells. I guess Maelstrom Pulse technically can potentially not be a one removal -one spell. But as you've noticed, like, and if you check back out, like, my other decks that I make with, like, Orzhov, Rock, my own personal rock list, my own personal absent list. I don't like one for removal in the sideboard. I like having my sideboard slots being super helpful. Dao Tan, thank you for the sub, the pipe sum. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate the support that everyone's providing me. God, Modern's so awesome right now. All the decks you just named that are viable right now. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, Modern's actually in a really good spot. Like, again, the decks you were Tron, Burn, and in fact, Grixis, Luris, and uh, Living End. Like, that's a very diverse league. That's awesome. <laughs> that's the sub and the follow downtown. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Seriously, it's, the support I've gotten for the stream has been amazing the past few months, and I really appreciate all. I got eighty eight viewers. I know Dylan assisted with the raid, but before, but before Dylan's raid, we had a solid fifty viewers right at the bat, and I really appreciate all you guys hanging out. This is a lot of fun. But back to my point where it's like I kind of like. Um, my cyber slots to be a little bit more impactful. So if I were to change this list, I'd have the cling to dust over the Night's Whisper. And then I'd probably change the sideboard a lot. Uh, I like what I like from it is probably the spell bombs and Rainer Tears explosives. Uh, I'd probably have a second brutality because of burn. And then there's like three or there's like five slots where I'd rather have anything else. Um, so that's how I would adjust the list. But I mean, Logan Nettles got 16th place twice with this exact 75. So there's merit here. Um, looking at the main, I want to fit like an unearth main one board, maybe. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Uh, I know someone in the chat mentioned they'd rather have unearth, and I, I like this Night's Whisper slot in the main. I could easily see this being a unearth or a claim to dust. 
Uh, Rebind Lyrics was huge and I used to play Backward Prowess with Abbots. Yeah, exactly. Again, like, I just don't know if this Night's Whisper just fits, honestly. Um, I, I Again, I think Cling to Dust or an Earth would be a very... Uh, more better better suited <laughs> cat talk it's i think it's just better suited that's it's freaking else it might be anything honestly i agree with you lord uh lord michael i agree with you um but again i think the core of this deck is great um i think Luris as a companion in mid range is definitely interesting um uh, having that eighth card is kind of great uh but then you lose liliana and i love liliana right now uh, I think Lilian is very important in our, in our um, kind of overall game plan, which is why I don't think I would personally play this. But it's definitely fun to change it up and try this build every now and then. Uh, and I'm glad Logan did well uh, over this past weekend. Um, but I think my next stream will be Thursday. And I'm going to be playing my usual Lara Stone Bay list on Thursday. But I'm going to be experimenting something different. I was um, kind of thinking about it. Uh, I was getting work, getting ready for work today. Um, and I was thinking about doing something crazy here. Not, I guess not too crazy. But let's make a version two. But I was, what I was going to do is um, on Thursday, I was actually going to do this. And move the linear souls to the side. And the reason for that is there's a lot of burn, there's a lot of living end, there's a lot of death shadow, there's a lot of lure stacks, and I feel like Kai's Gal is just so good right now that I want room for it main. And if you just look at my deck here, there's no, there's just no room for anything, right? There's no Liliana. There's I have three Lilianas, three lures, and then the two equipment. I don't have room for Kai's Gal and Lingering Souls, so I think this sweet, this straight swap, is pretty clean. Right, I think all the matchups where Lingering Souls is good. Kaios Guy is also great. Um, Burn is really, really popular right now. I think the life gain is amazing, especially if they're going to shift the lures. I think this main deck, Kaios Guy, is going to be kind of clutch. Where do you like Liliana of the Veil? I found her to be underwhelming. Really? I actually really like Liliana. Um, uh, in combination with Lingering Souls, too. I don't know. I feel like with all these Lurus Shadow decks, I think having this Liliana effect and also a lot of Tron, Liliana is, like, really, really clutch. I love how the deck is basically Green Black Trade Binder. Eh, I don't know about that. I mean, it's pretty consistent. And there's a lot of expensive staples, if anything. So, um, Lord Michael, I know you brought up Kaya Orzov Usipper, and I'm, you, like, read my mind. Um, I was actually thinking of going the two Kaya's Gal main, and then these are the two cards that I'm thinking of running in the sideboard for Thursday. Um, it's going to be Kaya and someone in my Discord um, brought up Brendan Ford's Tender. And I think that's a really cool inclusion. It's just a matter of making room. Um, I might just cut the Plague Man. I haven't really been boarding in Plague Man a lot outside of like the Elves matchup. Um, and I think against Elves, the Plague Man does help, but... I don't think Elves takes up too much of the modern meta to really warrant it. I think something like Kaya is a little bit more better. A little bit more versatile against like Shadow and stuff. And then the Burgeon Forge Gender is kind of cute against all the burn, all the prowess. So I think I just need to take a step back and kind of really need to evaluate what I want to play against and what I want hate on. Maybe I just go down to one Lingering Souls. Maybe I cut this Kasali Pride Mage. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to think about it. Uh, if there's any suggestions that you guys want that I think I should cut... This is kind of where I'm at for Thursday. Before the companion change, Dark Heart Sliver was pretty popular in the restore. Do you think it has any legs now that we have to pay three? Dark Heart Sliver. All slivers that are you gain three life. Um, I don't know if that effect is that great, though, right? Like, if you're really that scared of burn, I'd rather have Collect Brutality. Uh, and it's one of those things where, like, if you're if, in a matchup where your life total is under that much pressure, I don't think you have time to go Luris loop. You know what I mean? Like, if you have a Luris in play, you just attacking with the... If your Luris actually lives and you get to attack with the Luris, that's that's what you want, right? Um, so I feel like if you're able to have a Luris, if your Luris survives for a turn, I think you're winning anyway. Um, so I think the ability to recur that card 
is kind of not necessary in my opinion. That being said, I don't I think the floor is pretty high because you could play it for two and then block a goblin guide. But the thing about it is like you can either block the goblin guide and trade or you sack and gain three life. I don't know, it's kind of it's kind of weird. Um I'd have to really think about that card. I think that card's kind of slightly doesn't make the cut. Um yeah, again, I really appreciate everyone for tuning in. That'll, I think that'll do it for me. Uh, if you guys want to support the channel, please hit that follow button. Thank you for the follows today. Thank you for the raid from Dylan. And Delton, thank you for the sub. Uh, thank you, uh, Control Freak, for the for the sub. Cullen the Herd, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm just trying to justify a BGX Binder. Yeah, I, I I don't think it's bad, Lord Michael. I think it's definitely something to think about. I don't, I don't mean to come off as like just brushing it off as bad. I think it's one of those, one of those things where if you're relying on Luris, I think um, you're winning anyway if you untap with it. That being said, I'm one of those guys that like don't want to discount anything, and I think everything is worth testing. Um, I'm not going to say you're wrong. I just don't think it's good on my end, but I don't want to say i don't want to discredit your thoughts either and it's good to critically evaluate every slot all the things you can do with lures and i i like where you're thinking i like where your head is at right and i appreciate you coming and kind of presenting these kind of um ideas because that's how you that's how you can kind of test things out test the waters see what's good and what's not because you don't you're not going to know until you try it right so i personally don't think it's good on paper but i could be wrong and i don't want to say i think it's wrong but i don't want to just like throw your idea out the window either you know i respect your idea and I, I i respect it and i appreciate it um that being said let's raid somebody i haven't raided connor man in quite a long time because connor man usually plays pioneer let's send him some love sally and that again um my next stream will be thursday playing this abzan deck that i, I just said Oh, he's playing Pioneer. What the hell? He said Modern Heimer time. Uh, where's our Deadweights? I love Deadweight. If I could fit Deadweight in, I can. But I just don't think Deadweight's that great in the meta right now. Uh, do you guys want to watch Pioneer? Um, I don't know. Unless there's someone else that's a smaller streamer that I can raid. I don't want to raid Zan. I think he has 170 viewers. I want to raid someone who, A, has not that many viewers and, and plays Modern. Or otherwise, I can just raid Connor Man. Wow, well, there's not that much. There's not so much of a suggestion. Rock and modern. We're going here. Sorry, Connor man. I had I gave you a chance, but we're gonna send you all over to this person. So we're gonna go rock into rock. Seven viewers. I love it. Let's go. Oh, they have Sir Ralph on the sideboard. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Alright. Again, if you guys haven't done story, please hit that follow button. Check out my YouTube, youtube.com slash KO Diamonds. Follow me on Twitter for stream updates. Send this guy some love, playing some Saraf Rock. Let's go. Uh, appreciate everyone for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.